Now's the time of year to be thinking about spring crabgrass control or spring annual grass control. A crabgrass preventer works by preventing seeds from germinating. So we need to have this product down on the ground before those weed seeds germinate. The other important fact is that the chemical that's found in crabgrass preventers doesn't differentiate between crabgrass seed and turf grass seed. So if you've got some bare areas in your yard that you need to reseed with tall fescue or Kentucky bluegrass, you either need to avoid putting these products down or use another product called Tupersan or Sigeron. You want to look for environmental cues. If you see the yellow flower of the forsythia bush, you still got a couple weeks. Once you see the flower, be thinking about it, getting to the store to purchase your product. I've got four bags of three different products essentially here. Uh, this one has a chemical name called Team. This one has a, a crabgrass preventer called Dimension. And the last two have a crabgrass preventer called Barricade. There's also another popular one called Pendimethylin. And they all work very good at controlling crabgrass. Each of these products can be applied to lots of different grasses, but the rate will be different depending on what type of grass you have in your yard. These two bags both have Barricade in them and they both have 19% nitrogen, so they look very similar. They look like they should be the same bag of fertilizer and crabgrass preventer. However, when we look closely at the label, this one has 0.2% prodiamine, and this one has 0.38% prodiamine. So this one has a lot more barricade in it. So this bag will actually cover 12,500 square feet, where this bag will only cover 6,600 square feet. While the bags look very similar, there's a difference in how much area they will cover. Ultimately, it really doesn't matter too much which product you choose, whether it's Barricade or Dimension or Pendimethylin or Team. They all have some pros and some cons with each product. The key important part is to read the label, find out how you're supposed to use that product, and buy and use the correct amount that's for your size of yard. For more information, visit your local Extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.